Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Proença and today we're going to talk about nutrition label of responsive web design in Free Code Camp. So basically in this project we're going to build a nutrition label like we can see in here, all right? So we're going to work with HTML and CSS. So let's just start. So like I always mention, you should do this project only if you did the previous ones because in Free Code Camp we're always learning one new thing right after the other, so we need the previous concepts to learn the new ones, okay? Basically so far we have here the HTML file with the doc type HTML, we have the head and the body. Here we have the title nutrition label and they are telling us to create an H1 saying nutrition label. But before I move on, I will tell again, if you didn't see the previous videos, what is the big difference between the H1 and the other H's that we we have. So basically if I change here to other numbers, we can see that the H1 is the most important part in our code, so it's even larger. This is the most important part of our page, the title. And then the other H's, they are starting to decrease the size of the text and this means that they are less important in the page. Okay, so this heading 6 here, it's smaller than the heading 1. Okay, in our case we want to use only the H1 and here I'm going to use, I'm going to say nutrition facts. All right, so we want to say this. Then now we want to create a paragraph where we're going to say this message here. So we have the H1 and we can also work with paragraph. Here basically we're going to focus more on the CSS. So, so far the HTML is pretty simple, the thing that we already saw previously. We're going to add another paragraph of this other message. So, so far we have this eight servings per container. Now we have serving size two. Uh, slash three cup okay so we're gonna start adding some content so basically like we already mentioned the head is the part that is not visual so in here we're gonna add the link using this font family that we're gonna use in here so basically we're gonna say here link rel equals to style sheet and then what will be the href will be the source where we're gonna get the font family. So we're going to use this fonts API, fonts Google API. Basically this fonts Google API is really good because you can use as many fonts families as you want. Okay, you don't need to use the default one. And we're going to also create here a file. We're going to create a link with our CSS file. Okay, and that's it. Now let's go to the next one. Perfect. Now we're going to add this font family that we created here in our body. So here we're going to say body. This is our styles.css, okay? Body, the font family will be the font family that we want. So if you take a look, take a look in here right now, the way that it is, the page, all right, the font family, and now it changed the font family to this new one, all right? This is a uh, font family. I forgot here to put sans serif. And why we need this sans serif? Because if the browser cannot support the font family we're adding, so he's going to the second one, okay? Now we're going to change the, the font size. So here we're going to use the HTML uh, tag, and basically we're going to say font size, and here we're going to say 16 pixels. It changed a little bit. Now we're gonna add a class for, we're gonna wrap our h1 and our paragraph in a div, okay? And we're gonna give a class to this, so div class equals to label, great. We're gonna put the h1 and the paragraphs inside of this h1 and we're gonna close it, okay? So, so far it won't change it much, but with this class label we can start working with this style and that's what we're gonna do right now. So we're gonna use this dot label class and we're gonna set here the border to pixels, solid, and black. So right now we're gonna have this uh, border that we're seeing in here. All right. Then now we're gonna set the width of this box. So basically here the width will be 270 pixels. Okay. And now we shrink a little bit. Then the next step we're gonna set this in the middle. So we're gonna set this in the middle using the margin 20 pixels in the vertical alignment and auto in the horizontal alignment. So now it's in the middle. And we're gonna add a padding of 0, 7 pixels zero in the vertical alignment and seven pixels in the horizontal. Now we're gonna set uh, the size, how we're gonna work with the box in here of the whole page. So we're gonna use a star. Basically the star will set all the properties to this new one, okay? And here we're gonna say sizing border box. So basically we're just setting how it's gonna be. And here change a little how it looks like. 
Now we want to change the, the font weight of the H1 and H2. So the H1, we're going to use here the font weight. And basically the font weight, it will give us, uh, it will make it more bold or not. So here we want to say 800 and it will be bolder. If we use 700, it will be lighter. And you can kind of work in here with the, with the numbers, all right, to make it bolder or not. Then now we want to center the text. So we're going to use the text align. This is something that we are familiar already. And here it will be center. So it, we can barely see the change, but it's changing in here and we're also going to set here the margin for margin uh, bottom of minus zero so here i'm going to set zero for the top the left and right margin i'm going to set zero oh sorry the top and bottom it's more mi minus four pixels and zero so we're removing the border and we're putting a little bit from the top now we're going to remove the margin for the paragraph so here we just say margin zero and now we don't have margin anymore great and we're going to create a div below our h1 and give a class uh, attribute divider. Basically, this divider class, it will create like a, a border, like a line where we can divide each session. Okay. And we're going to create this style. And now we're going to do this like I just said. So to do this, uh, this line, we're going to have here the border bottom. And we're going to set one pixel solid and this color that it's saying here, 888989. So it will be like a gray color. And besides that, we want to have a margin of two pixels, but only in the top and bottom. So here we're going to say margin two pixels, zero. Okay. Now we're going to add the letter spacing property. We're going to adjust the space between each character in this text. So basically here the letter is spacing. We're going to add here 0 0.15 pixels. And like you can see now, the, the H1, they had, we have a little bit of spacing between the letters. Okay, let's go to the next one. Now we're going to give for the second element a class bold. And probably in this class, we're going to add the property of making things bold. Okay, so this will make our life easier. Instead of adding the font weight for each case, we're going to have the bold property for this one okay so here we're gonna remove the font weight and we're gonna add we're gonna create a class bold and this class bold will be uh, will be making this style for us okay and now we have to fix here the h1 with this class bold since we removed from the class of h1 now we're adding the class bold okay now we're gonna add a spam element and we're gonna space things in the left and in the right okay so basically here we're gonna say spam class equals to right Okay, we're close. We're creating this as spam. Great. So far, it won't change. It won't change anything. But now that we're gonna implement the style, it will make something. So let's see. Here, we're gonna use the float property that it's used to place an element on the left or on the right of the container and allow us to wrap around it. So basically, now our goal is to make the two uh, divided by three cup fifty five grams in the right. Okay. So basically, here float right. Okay, and now we see that it's in the right. Great. So now they want us to wrap everything that we did so far inside of a header. So here in our label, we're going to create a header. Okay, to separate things. And here we're going to have header. So everything we're going to write from now on will be after the header. Okay, so this is the main part of our code. Now we're going to be explicit in what H1 we're working. So we're working with the header H1. So this style will be only for the header H1. Okay. And now we're going to create a new div below our header. So here I'm going to give create a new div and I'm going to give a class equals to divider. Oops. So we're going to create a new uh, line, LG. And this LG we're going to create, we're going to tell what it, what LG means. And basically it means that it was going to be large. It will, it's not changing anything, but we're going to do right now what LG means. So basically LG, the height will be 10 pixels. And we can see now that we create this space. And we're going to set the background color, background color black okay we're gonna also do this for the uh md so basically here i'm gonna say lg comma dot md will be this color okay but the height i will change so for lg it will be 10 dot lg it will be height 10 pixels and for md in the future we're gonna change okay so this is what they're telling us to do um so basically we're gonna change instead of uh border we're gonna set the border here to zero i think so basically we're gonna say border zero because we don't want any border all right and the medium we're gonna use in the future so right now we're not gonna do anything Okay. Now we're going to create a new div that will be LG and we're going to give after the LG and we're going to give the calories info. So here the div class equals to calories info. Okay. And we're going to add some things in here. So basically we're going to create a P tag with class equals to bold SM text. 
and the message here will be amount per serving. Great, and we can see in here, awesome. So let's continue. Now we're gonna use the REM unit, it's the same thing as the pixel, or it's a unit that we can measure things in our text, okay, for font, font size, margin, those things. So we're gonna create a .sm text, and we're gonna set the font size to 0.85 REM, and which will calculate, so basically 0.85 REM is the same as 13.6 pixels, okay? So basically it will change this for us basically now the text we can see in here it's a smaller okay then we're gonna change create a new h1 element and we're gonna say this uh h1 here calories calories 230 h1 we're gonna wrap the portion 230 here we're gonna use this spam again and we're gonna put in the right like we did previously right and here is spam great so now we divide it and i think we're gonna use an h1 here calories yes the calorie we're gonna change the h1 for the calories info and here we want to use a margin of minus five pixels and minus two pixels so now we're changing the margin we cannot see because i wrote everything wrong margin so now it's we're seeing this way okay now we're going to create a new item for the spam where we're going to change the font size of 230 so here we're going to do dot calories info spam and here the font size will be 1.2 rem actually em and we're changing here something okay now we're gonna use this overflow hidden to avoid overflow here like we can see the border and the the number so here overflow hidden okay now we are avoiding this to be one in front of the other and now we're gonna add a margin margin top to minus seven pixels in our spam okay that's it now we're gonna work with the calories info and we're gonna create a new div actually and we're gonna give a class divider md and we already did we already said what is md but we don't have anything inside so we're gonna work right now that on md we know that there will be a color it will be similar to this but we're gonna change the height so here five pixels and we're gonna see in here okay now we're gonna create a new div below in here where we're gonna give this text daily value sm text and we're gonna have a paragraph inside so here a div class equals to this one div and basically here we want a paragraph with class equals to right bold so it will be in the right and it will be bold and we want to say daily value and a star right so we can see here daily value now we want to use this float uh we're seeing that this float is causing this to be outside so we're going to use our existing divider element as an example and we're going to add a new divider after the p so we're going to use here a div class equals to divider i think this is what they want us to do great we're creating a divider 